All right, most of us are still in quarantine. Let's get these quarantine re reviews out. 2012, a movie that came out in 2009. I was about 12 years old when this movie came out. And yo, if you're thinking about watching this movie, check it out. Definitely. It's definitely a movie where you got to turn your brain off because there's a lot of nonsense and a lot of uh, scientific inaccuracies going on in this piece. But trust me, you're going to love it. It's a fun family action disaster movie. It's lit. The movie basically starts off with this dad, no, starts off with these natural disasters going on, you know, like it's telling the audience that shit's about to go down. It's it's based in 2009, and then uh, in the beginning, and then it cuts to 2012, three years later, after the scientists warned the government for three years that sh the world's going to blow up. Then we go and we transition to the main family of the group, this dad in L.A., Yada, yada, yada. He sees stuff going on. And then it basically follows his family across half of the world. From L.A. to Yosemite to Las Vegas to a little bit of Hawaii. And then it ends off in China. Where uh, where we see basically this whole family is just dodging death left and right. B.S., you know, nonsense, but you're kind of rooting for the family. Everybody was pretty much likable. The mom was likable. The kids were cool. The stepdad was cool. Um, the, 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 the the main dad we follow is cool. Uh, I guess the only bad guy is like this Russian billionaire. billionaire they meet in Vegas. You kind of want to die. But yeah, I mean, like there's a bunch of like funny characters. Like uh, th there's a lot of like... Uh, there's some goofs going on in this movie, but it's it's really awesome. It's really good. Uh, Woody Harrelson's really good as the hippie uh, conspiracy theorist guy that dies in Yosemite. Trust me, it's 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 a fun movie. It's a fun picture. I basically, I you have to turn your brain off. If if you don't turn your brain off in this movie, don't watch it. There's no point of watching this movie. Turn your brain off. You know, switch it to box of rocks mode. You'll love it. Trust me. And the CGI is it's perfect, you know, for for 2012 CGI is perfect. Um, it's just the science that like kind of throws people off. It's like what, like shouldn't you go blind or like what, like the lava would have caught up to them or like what, like the ash cloud, like hey, shut up. <laughs> You're gonna really like this movie, 2012. It's uh, it's two hours. It didn't feel too long. It, it felt about right. It's about a two hour movie. Um, you stayed connected. Honestly, like with, with like most films, like there's a certain part where like I'd say like, man, you could have cut this part out. Everything felt good. Nothing you had to cut out. Everything felt good. Um, a lot of people die. A lot of people die in shitty ways because of like natural disasters. Like people just get consumed by like tsunamis and shit, and like it kind of hits you in the heart. You know, like there's like this like people on a boat. These two old guys on a boat that just hit me in the soul. They of course die, but. It's a, if a if a movie can get that reaction out of me, it's a good piece. Do I recommend 2012? I heavily recommend it. Like I said, turn your brain off. I say 2012 is about like maybe is like out of out of disaster movies is like a seven out of ten. I'll give it a seven out of ten. Fun, worth your money. Watch it with friends. Shit on it, goof on it. You know the deal. That's it for this review. About eleven years ago, eleven years later, still stands up. Nothing cringy about it. You know. It looked good to me, man. I, I bought it. I recently saw it two nights ago. Check it out. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you disliked 2012. Let me know what you think. And uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you later. It's your boy, Steven, out.